Happy July, and that means it is the end of the month. So if you guys aren't familiar with the channel, I do an eBay monthly sales recap. I go over all of my sales. I put the numbers on here. I show the profits. I show the losses. I try and be transparent because I feel like there's a lot of people out there who are not as transparent. So we're going to go over, if you want to see the other months from the whole year, uh, you can go back and find those videos. But uh, we're going to start right here. Now, I promise this, that there's a lot of Pokemon cards this time uh, in the sales. But there are some sports cards in here as well. Um, it's just something else that I enjoy. So, uh, starting off, and I'll put the uh, the images on screen here, and we'll t and we'll go to the total profit and loss at the end. Um, so that'll be at the end of the video. But first off, we got an Ed Tutal Jones Mosaic Auto. I pulled this um, for pulled cards. I just put a dollar cost. So you can see all of the fees here. If you need to deposit, feel free to deposit at any time. Seven dollar profit. I'll take it. Next up was a Bijan Robinson. This was a silver variation that I, I bought a little lot of. And uh, actually was able to sell all the cards for more than what I bought them for uh, individually. So it was just a $6 profit. But, you know, you, sometimes you got to take what you can get. Then if you guys are also familiar, you know I do a lot of Austin Reeves cards. And this one was one that I got in a lot as well. Barely made any money. I'm just trying to move on. I think I overbought him a little bit. And he's kind of dying down right now. Also, there's a you know just a lot more of his cards on the market now versus when I was buying them. And we had our first Pokemon sale of the month. Um, kind of hurt me to let this one go, although I did have two of these cards. Now, this is the Suicune, and what you guys are going to notice is that this cost of goods is really low. I got a really good deal on a lot on eBay, and it just, it was probably one of my best lots ever. It was like over, f I can't remember the total number, uh, like 58 cards and two of them were already bgs anyways it was like 138 bucks for all these cards anyways anyway, it turned out to be really good this was a, a re, uh, bgs 95 that i graded and um, cracked and resubmitted so 80 dollars profit there really happy with that i do have another one as a 10 that i'm keeping then we have a trey lance this is a orange laser uh, i bought this late last year just because it was up for bids and i got it for 25 bucks thinking i could sell it for a little bit more even though you know he might not ever play again or he'll get a chance i don't know but as a F niners fan i don't know i, I bought it but anyway I sold it six dollar profit had a hand and hooker card that i pulled out of a optic box blaster box a whopping 89 cents if you have the cost of goods at a dollar you know you can see once again that fees shipping everything's in here then we had a little string of Pokemon cards here from that same exact lot. Uh, graded all of these. So Lunatone, this one got a 9. I swear. I'm, I have a pretty good eye. Obviously I do miss stuff from time to time. Maybe I just miss something. But this is what happens sometimes when you grade. Especially lower end cards. We got a $5.88 loss. Then the Luminion. Great looking card. Um, lower, It was like lower end at the time. Um, but Crown Zenith was kind of popping off a little bit. So... Uh, I wasn't super attached to it. $28, $28 profit, almost $29. Then the Zamazenta, graded a few of these. Uh, $40 profit there. Then we had a, jeez, uh, one of my bigger mistakes. Uh, Colin Castleton, I was getting a lot of his cards. He actually almost had a chance to pop last year. Anyways, doesn't matter. He didn't. Uh, not that he couldn't this year, but it's not looking likely. Lost 7 bucks on that one. Then we had an Austin Reeves. This was a Red Scope auto that I bought. Uh, I think it was on bids, yeah. I won this on bids, paid $45 for it. It was a 8 10 auto, $18 profit. Uh, so, you know, I'll take it there. Back onto the Pokemon uh, Deoxys. I really wanted to keep this card. Uh, this was my only copy. So, a little bummed on that. But sometimes you got to take profit. We're, I'm rolling it into other things, you know. $59 profit there. Then uh, we had a string of, uh, finally, st I heavily invested in Max Christie uh, like last year and graded a lot of his cards, and I still have quite a few, but he, I was finally starting to see some Max Christie sales. Uh, this guy bought two, and, it, and I was actually able to ship them both, so this one has $0 shipping because I was shipped them together, but uh, $57 and, and $37 profit here, so we got the, this was the auto, and then the red ice was uh, $37. So yeah, these ones, I had graded both of those, so pretty cool there. And real quickly, we're going to just um, change just for a second. I don't do this very often, but I just wanted to talk about when we get into the other eBay numbers, I'm going to show I'm gonna show my other eBay numbers, 
and something that I don't include in the spreadsheet, but it is card related, and I just kind of wanted to show it to you guys, is I have been, I have a very small 3D printing uh, side gig that I've been doing. And as you guys can see right here on the rotating stand, I make these uh, all for all the grading companies, PSA, SGC, BGS, CGC, whatever, whatever you want. Uh, Four-way stands. I have six-way stands. I have the single stand. This is like the single stand here you can see. So these are just some of the different colors. It's like a, a rainbow. It kind of changes like as it prints. It goes through like the different rainbow colors. Uh, obviously, we have the stands in black. And if you guys are interested, this is the black gold and this is the clear. Um, if you guys are interested in picking these up, I do have links in the description for, they're on eBay, they're on Etsy. Um, and uh, what's unique about this style is they're stackable, meaning you can keep going up higher. Now, this one's for SGC and this one's for PSA, so the uh, sizes are different, but essentially I put two together and then you can put them on, you can put them on here and then stack and you can make a giant tower out of them. Uh, but I do have other styles as well. Uh, other things on there, like I said, it's on my eBay page, Etsy page, and then I'll have a link for this turntable if you guys want uh, in the description. Anyways, I, if you guys want to support the channel, feel free. If you don't, no worries. I just wanted to share it. I don't really um, plug myself like that very often. So anyways, um, back to the video here. So uh, yeah, so we did the Max Christie. So now we're on to Jamal Murray. This was a Court Kings. I won this on bids for like a dollar twenty-five. It was out of twenty-five. I was hoping to grade it because it's one of those like paper material. Anyways, it was like the texture of the card. Anyways, but I had a bad corner, so five dollar profit there. Then we had another Max Christie. After I sold those, um, I had another Red Ice. Now this one I had just bought as a ten. Same thing. One on bids for twenty-three. I thought it went too cheap. And I, since the other one sold for like 60 something, I had this at like 85. So $46 profit there, not gonna complain. Uh, then we're gonna finish off with uh, a few more cards here. So this is uh, Reeves. And this was a auto that I had bought for 45 bucks, graded it at the special $38 flip there. I'll take that. Then we had another um, Reeves. This was, this guy bought both of these. Um, just a purple ice draft picks. Uh, it was a pop one, I think. I don't know if it still is, but yeah, bought it for eleven. Um, Com C. I can't, couldn't find my date, but I did remember what I bought it for. Yeah. So, anyways, um, Com C's been weird about my purchase history, but um, so pick that up. Thirty dollars sale there, and then um, if you guys recall, I sold some PJ Hall stuff. Um, I don't know if that was last month or the month before. Anyways, um, sold a big gold auto. Anyways. So I had a few more of his that, once again, on this order, I swear they look like 10s. I should thought they should have been 10s. They both got 9s, but this was the blue, or no, this was gold out of 50. I technically <laughs> made a little bit of money on both of these because I was able to combine the shipping. 545 profit on here, but then um, on the blue, this one's the blue out of 150. Um, we lost $2.29, so technically overall. Now, that's the risk you take when you're uh, grading cards right because uh, nines often they have got nothing for them so um, I'm okay with that you know it happens then here's another one of my losses uh, like I said I, I try and do I try and be transparent for you guys not everything is profit also some of these cards that I've already paid for grading haven't sold and that doesn't reflect on here so just keep that in mind you know I'm, I'm trying to be honest but I sell cards to grow my collection I sell the stands and stuff, the 3D printed stuff, just to keep a little bit growing my collection kind of thing. So um, I would love to, you know, move into doing cards and, and stands and all that full time if possible, but you know, maybe someday. So, you know, we ended on a $16 loss there. Let's uh, go up to our summary here. If we uh, scroll over here. So what you, what you guys can see right here, we have, this is the total sale price for the whole year now. Uh, on eBay, just the cards. So this, once again, this doesn't cover stands or other things. Just the cards that I've tracked. Forty-six eighty, and the profit margin there being just under twenty-eight hundred. So we're doing pretty good. Once again, I do want to start scaling up. Is my plan more quantities of things? And um, because you know this is a whole year of sales, which isn't a lot, but. Uh, there are some bigger sales in here, and I mean, for me, 
it's it's what I can do at the time or you know I'm also doing I'm buying sealed boxes right I'm not made of money right I'm just trying to keep, I'm trying to keep snowballing this but we'll also jump over here and just to show you guys like what just transparency right so uh, this is the last uh, the month you know 30 days here so we are up uh, over last month 130 percent so yeah June was a June was a good month um, twenty four hundred dollars in sales and let's see this was uh, the selling costs of um, this was the fees of everything now a lot of the times especially for the stands and some and a lot of the listings I'll run like low ads low percentage ads um, sometimes it seems like that's the only way to get sales but it's been working so uh, it was 57 sales yeah so like I said some of those are the stands on there um, and yeah the stands are actually probably gonna bring this average price down but our average sale price was around $43 so sold a lot of graded cards there um, if we scroll down here um, we had a few repeat buyers 38 total buyers you know you can see the numbers here um, if you want to see a little bit more by category um, so Pokemon cards were still on the lower end. It was mostly sports cards and yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just, uh, I enjoy making these videos every month. So this is the month of June and yeah, that's the summary. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, it was never a phase.